the long anticipated wait is finally over. The new Old Town Sportsman Salty PDL 120 is finally home. Thank you, Johnson Outdoors, Old Town Canoe and Kayak for sponsoring the channel with this magnificent kayak that we have right here. This is arguably the fastest pedal drive kayak out there on the market for fishermen. She's clocking in at 12 feet long, 34 and a half inches wide. She weighs 85 pounds. With the drive, that's another 19 pounds and she has a weight capacity of 346 pounds. Total weight capacity is 450. I think where she's gonna truly set herself apart is the body style of this kayak right here. When I last tried it out, which was Fort Lauderdale, Florida, when Old Town invited the channel down to come do a media event, I was thoroughly impressed with her speed. And that's the big kicker the difference between everything else that I've had in my lineups of kayaks since I've been a YouTube channel, this girl. I am so looking forward to being able to get out there and really scoot. Let's do a quick rundown of all the features that she has on board. Up here at the bow, we got a drain plug right there. And then right here, we have a handle that's built in. That right there, I've never had any issues with Old Town's handles. Then you move down right here at the bow, you got some storage. No hatch to have access down below. There's really not much room down there. And besides, the main thing that I love about it is that there's not going to be an additional way for water to get down below inside there. The only hatch that we have is right there in the middle of the kayak. So this right here is a plus in my book. The bungee, you have that to anchor some gear down. That's probably going to get removed because I don't really like these. Uh, in my opinion, they only serve to snag your hooks or tangle gear up. So I'm going to remove that. And then we move down right here. We've got a uh, transducer scupper hole to go down below where the universal transducer mount is. These right here are your anchor mechanisms for the uh, PDL drive. And then you got the PDL drive well right there. Two scuppers right here. Another two aft of the drive well. Two gear tracks. These right here are plastic. I would consider beefing them up. Um, they tend to, because they're uh, plastic, they tend to bend a lot. So hopefully these are a lot better than some of the previous ones that they've released. You got EVA foam deck padding right here to cushion your feet. These right here work wonders, especially whenever you're dropping scissors, plier, or something like that. That will dampen the noise. And then you got your seat tracks on both sides the mid handles on both sides steering control right there for the rudder you got a cup holder right here with a way for the water that comes in to drain out that's a good plus the rudder control right here um, mid act like mid kayak access down below and then we've got let's see one, two rear facing rod holders. You got one forward. That right there is gonna be a plus because it's gonna save me from having to do a ram tube, which is something normally that I always do in order to have a rod holster. It's in the perfect spot right there next to the seat. So that's a plus in my book. And then we come to the rear tank well. It's not as big as most kayaks out there, but it's something that I can certainly live with. I'm thinking about putting a small little crate back here and then my big camera case will go here. More bungee for you to be able to like strap gear down. But in my case, this is gonna get removed. And then we got two scupper holes to drain 
water in the event that it comes in and then you got the rudder that is a big rudder right there very narrow no need for the like the extra wide one that comes on some of the other kayaks uh, this right here is more than enough to get this girl turning uh, the last time that i tried her out she can turn not on a dime that's an overused cliche but she's definitely got some fast turning you don't want to be going five miles an hour and then full rudder to the left or right because you might end up overboard and then the rear handle right here we've got the seat and by the looks of it it's got a little bit more padding right up here that could just be because i'm used to my older style seat that's back there but uh, one of the main differences is you got a little bit of storage right down here underneath the seat bottom. What I love about this style right here is the fact that if you flip over, she's locked in. You'd have to physically pull these two tabs simultaneously to get her to unlock. And then you've got two straps right here to adjust the seat back itself. The seat is, uh, has like a mesh so that air during the hot Texas summers, uh, that wind, if you get a, uh, a slight breeze, it's gonna be able to cool you off. So that's another plus right there. And then here towards the back, you've got two little straps that's gonna lock the seat down. Um, you could get away with just using them without it, but I mean, if it's here, why not, right? So that's gonna anchor our seat down and uh, it's, just a generic seat. There's really no lumbar support or anything like that. But what I have found through uh, the, the course of over a year or so and using Old Town's kayaks religiously, these guys are gonna provide you with plenty of all day support. So no need to worry about the lumbar or anything like that. Now we turn our attention to the PDL drive itself. This thing right here is built like a tank. And when I say that, I like quite literally mean it. Uh, it's gonna take a lot to really beat this fella up. And this right here is the locking bar. It goes right inside there. To assemble it, it's very easy. Just pull these two little knobs right here. Loosen that up. You got two of them, one on each side. Slide this through. And then Old Town has even made it simple for you right here. You line that up in here, just like that. Tighten them down and you're ready to go. Hand tight, you don't need to gorilla torque this right there. Set her down, use your locking mechanism to hold it in place. And there you go, your seat, I mean, your uh, PDL drive is good to go. Let's remove our tackle tray. Inside here is gonna be the hardware for your handle. You're gonna also have some shear pins and uh, your ownership manual to, don't discard this. You're gonna be able to, um, what do you call it, register it for warranty reasons. Here's the handle, here's the lockdown for the handle. Here is the trucker ball knob for your rudder control, and then also the tensioner. Shear pins, you got two shear pins for the prop. So in the event that you break one of the shear pins because we're an oyster or something like that, you hit a log at a crazy speed, these are designed to just break so that you don't damage the, the prop itself. So do not discard these. I would highly recommend tossing them inside the storage space on the PDL drive. Lifetime warranty on the hull, a five-year warranty on the PDL drive, and these things are just solid. They're built like a tank. I have owned several Old Towns, and this one right here was so good that we purchased one with our hard-earned cash, which is right behind me. That is Christian's salty PDL right there. And the main absolute main reason for us purchasing and wanting to go with the salties she's just crazy fast because i always want to be upfront and uh, just truthful with each and every one of you this kayak right here was sponsored to the channel from old town canoe and kayak we did not pay for this 
but it's because of the support that you all show me with the constant coming back to the channel and viewing the content that I have produced. It's allowed me to work with spectacular companies such as Old Town, so I owe each and every one of y'all a great big thank you. Uh, I love each and every one of you, and I'm looking forward to being able to put this brand new kayak to some great use out there in the marsh, on the Texas Gulf Coast, or wherever fishing will take myself, my son, and uh, yeah, I just owe each and every one of y'all a great big thanks. Thank you Old Town Canoe and Kayaks, Johnson Outdoors, to the entire team. I really love and appreciate y'all's support.